February of last year, Caitlin Granger started having nosebleeds. It was actually the first signs of childhood cancer. The teen needed weeks of therapy, but now recovered, she's celebrating by helping raise money for other kids that are still battling the disease. 10 Tampa Bay reporter Bobby Lewis is back out on the road with a way to support a young artist this holiday season. Twenty twenty hasn't been super, but twenty nineteen wasn't great either for Caitlin Granger. My mom took me to the pediatrician, and then I think around two or three days later, they diagnosed me with Hodgkin's lymphoma. How'd that land with you? It was shocking. When I was younger, my best friend's little brother passed away from cancer, so I knew what it did to people. So I feel like it had that big impact on me at the time. January 2nd, this year actually, I was declared cancer free. Now a year removed, she's celebrating with art. Caitlin, yours came out really cute, honey. You did the angel this year, right? Yeah. Patty O'Leary yeah. is the executive director created. of the Children's Cancer Center, which supports families of sick children like Caitlin, through tough times. There's over a thousand families that we're currently supporting. The more awareness we can raise um, for the mission and the cause, the more families that we're helping. Patty chose Caitlin and four other kids to design Christmas cards, the Cancer Center's biggest fundraiser every year. We range anywhere between like thirty and fifty thousand um, dollars and that's net proceeds. Not like Picasso or anything, but I did okay. Just being chosen was special for this high school senior. Knowing her drawings could help kids just like her. They're beautiful. So I hope everybody goes out this year because you're giving not only to the person you're sending it to, but you're really giving to the kids and families of our local children's cancer center. Man, that is so awesome. Caitlin wants to go to medical school and become a pediatric oncologist. In addition to children's cancer center cards, she was also commissioned by McDonald's to create cards for the company as well.